One. Welcome back to Team Fat Kid Choose the Fat. This is Jason. This is Alex. This is Dooley. And we are here today to, we are doing a pizza challenge today. Well, first off, this is episode 11. For those of you who are keeping track. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're doing a pizza challenge today. Uh, we're going to Brothers Pizza. It's down the street on Seaboard. Uh, they are kind enough to let us go in there and film some stuff and uh, try to eat a 24 inch pizza. So it's going to be me and Julie this time. Yeah, I, I am, I am so me. happy to sit this one out. <laughs> I ate a lot yesterday. Although I have to admit, I feel like this one's going to be a little bit easier than the fudge challenge was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Julie and I, we ran a test run before. Uh, we bought a $50 pizza from Chinelos. It was a 20 inch on 24. Yeah, well, we crushed it in like 15 minutes. So, so this is this is doable. I believe it is doable. But I guess we're going to find out later. Plus, uh, we got an hour, so. Now, now, explain a little bit more about the challenge, though, because I, if I remember if correctly, I remember it's a 24 correctly, inch pizza. You yeah. have to have, what, four toppings? I'm not 100. Uh, someone said five, someone said 30. So we're going to probably we're just, just say, average it. Say just average four. And, like, I believe two of them have to be meat. Yeah, that's but Julie such and a I, downside. Julie and, I, Julie and I have a plan going into this one. Um, We are we have strategically picked our meats. Um, we we're definitely doing pepperoni and ground beef. Is that what we decided? Ground beef. I thought it was bacon. Okay, either one. <laughs> I'm either. I'm either way. I kind of feel like the ground beef, less salt, and yeah. we're gonna use onions or sweet peppers depending on how we feel when we get there because we need some sort of acid in there to break up the fat. I said so, peppers are. Yeah, sweet peppers. We're gonna stick. We're gonna steer away from the spicy. Because I feel like that would slow us down. Yeah, that's gonna. That's the peppers. Gonna the the right. catch up over time. Yeah, the, the, I think the peppers. Either way you look at it, will like the capsaicin anyway will drive your metabolism. So that's uh, we have a scientific plan going into this. Right? <laughs> we ain't stupid. <laughs> oh no, uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> that is debatable, sir. <laughs> um, yeah, um, that that's going on today. I mean, I don't. There's no beverages or anything involved in that, and I'm I'm a crust first kind of guy because of chewing fatigue. Um, yeah, especially with pizza. Yeah, so. And we don't know what this crust is going to come out looking like. I mean, I've had this pizza before. You've seen a dude eat the it. pizza? Yeah, I watched a video of a dude eating it by himself. He crushed it in eight minutes. He was a competition eater, though. Let's, yeah. let's get dude, that out there. Yeah, me and Jason were Saturday night? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it was Saturday. <laughs> Saturday, Sunday morning. <laughs> he, he ate... He ate a uh, eighty ounce steak, and then he went to this other place and ate like two trays of hot dogs. No, we're talking about the competition eater, not Jason. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, there's no way I could do that. I don't think I could do the eighty ounce steak. Like that dude's like in a day, like. Like you think about like, eighty ounce steak, and he had to do the sides too. Like eighty ounces is what? What? What's divided by sixteen? Five five pounds. Yeah, it's five pounds of meat plus a a, 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 a potato. A vegetable and a salad, and he had to eat the roll. We couldn't do four pounds of pho. <laughs> like I can't imagine eating an eighty ounce steak. Yeah, but I mean, I think the pho is different because it is a lot of carbs. Yeah, I, still. I mean, I mean like I went a lot of carbs. I went meat first. Like everybody had a strategy at, at pho. You know, duly trained for it, which might might have been a good idea for those of us that didn't. Uh, <laughs> I feel like Chase and Charlie forgot about it and came in already like. Half full. They both ate that day. Like yeah, we Chase, all Charlie came back from fucking. Both. Chase was just like eating it, like it was like ah, you know, this is my tea. I'll sip on it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Drinking all the broth. Like, yeah, he was just like enjoying I mean, his in, way in through Chase's it. In Chase's defense, the pho broth at Fu Seven Nine is really it good. is really damn good. It is really good. <laughs> like, it is but really it, it just good. cracked me up that he was just like oh my god, I'm just I'm I'm not even gonna try the challenge. I'm just I'm gonna eat this. Well, like the whole thing, like with like I mean, we've been to Fu Seven Nine. Couple times, couple times now, and we've watched him make that broth, and it is amazing. And it takes them a really long time to do. I, I, I want to say at least twenty four hours because I know that they cook oh, it yeah, the yeah. day before and then continue it's it overnight, right. and then you know pick it back up. Yeah, because the like they start with that big vat, and you guys can check that out on our YouTube channel. We could literally bathe in it. Yeah, like the big vat that I could climb in, and it boils down into like a pot that's like maybe just a little bit larger than the turkey fryer pot over there behind me. I don't know if you noticed I cleaned up the garage a little bit. It's up there now. <laughs> the turkey fryer. Yeah. We yeah. Also, yeah we, we, we cleaned it at work. Like, yeah, I put it took it to work and we like shoved it in the oven. Like we ran through the <laughs> a couple of times. Then we shoved it in the oven and sprayed it out with oven cleaner. Well, I'd say we duly did. <laughs> duly. Duly. <laughs> I mean, it was Duly's idea. Like it was my idea to take it to work because I was like, you look, man, I'm, like this is 
the oil. I, I mean, it's it's really like, not that easy to clean at home. No, like, and like, I took the oil home and I recycled the oil in our recycling bin, and then I took it inside and we cleaned it up. And we're getting ready for. Uh, I think that's going to be probably maybe next week. Crawfish boil. We're gonna. We're, we're, Hopefully, depending, yes. depending on if we can. Yeah, go. that's that's all seasonal dependent on Surprises the crawfish. To <laughs> yeah, Plus, yeah, I mean, I, more. First off, man, like crawfish boil. That's just amazing. It's a good time. Like, hopefully the weather will be warm. We wanted to do it in Creole month, but couldn't yeah, that's, get a hold that's, of, like, couldn't get a hold of you, For those of you who have been watching us, like, we wanted, that was, like, the one day that we skipped in Creole month because we hung on to it, and that's why we did the Giant Burger. We kind of put this one on the back burner, literally. Um, <laughs> it's sitting on a burner right now. <laughs> like, it's like, it, like, but we... We just couldn't get the product, and I wasn't going to pay an astronomical price to be doing it. Like, so. If you've ever watched Team Fat Kid, you know we are big fans of sales. <laughs> paying, All the sales. Paying more for something we know we can get a month later is yeah. not necessarily right. Yeah, yeah, and, and I got a guy. And like, he's going to, like, you know, he hooks me up. He lets me know when it's in, and, like, I shoot him a call, tell him how much I need. I got a guy for that. <laughs> like, like, always have a guy. Like, never burn that bridge. All right, so we, we talked about the fact that we're doing the Brothers Pizza Challenge today. We touched did, a little bit on pho. I did want to get in a little more into the pho challenge because we never really discussed the aftermath. Oh, dear God, the aftermath. I, uh, I was I was the fortunate one that got to run the cameras that day. So, like, I could see it all on your faces. Like, the, it was, like, the worst than Thanksgiving full. Oh, way, way worse than Thanksgiving full. Uh, I mean, at Thanksgiving, you're like, oh, I'm done. I'm just going to stop eating. You know, like, you get full, you, you finish. Like, I feel bad for Dooley. I know you trained for it. I didn't train for it. But by the end of that meal, I, I was, I looked like a homeless guy. I walked out front and, like, <laughs> laid down out front of the door. I, like, had my e-cig just, like, in my hand. I don't even know if I hit it, like, two or three times, maybe the whole time I was out there. And, like, I swear a couple walked by and, like, I think the girl was like, is he drunk? And I was like, I couldn't even answer. But in my head, I was just like, I mean, I'm food drunk. Like, you're at the point, like, you just, you don't want to move can't speak you're like sweating just like oh god that was a horrible idea i'm glad i came up with that yeah I, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not a very big dude to begin with so <laughs> like, like honestly at the very end of that like when jason was like you got five minutes left i was like oh man i'm not gonna finish this like i was like yeah i had like seven eight bites left i'm just like no yeah, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't not do it. I played Eye of the Tiger for you, bro. I know. Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> Everyone's like, seven more bites. I was like, one more time, throw up. Like, <laughs> I, I honestly, if I remember, you actually said that. Like, yeah, everyone's chanting. I'm like, one more to throw up. Like, you want that? I'm not going to try. I, I do not want to do this to my friends. Right? <laughs> that was, and that was four pounds. Yeah. So, I mean, like, yeah, Jason said it. it's a lot of carbs. Uh, and... All right, so the proprietor of uh, Fuss79 said that we should go noodles first because yeah. the longer they sit in the broth, the more they expand. Hey, everyone everyone who follows Team Packet knows the bows. Dude. Yeah, well, all right, fine. All right. Okay. I mean, we've been trying not to say names, but Hen, yeah. giving you a shout out yeah, here. Uh, Hen, Hen and Troy Bo, like they, they are the proprietors of Fuss79. They're actually our neighbors. You've seen them come over to the house all the time, like, they bring us the craziest things. They they do bring us some awesome stuff. But like she she said and and everything. eat the noodles first because they expand the longer they sit in the broth. I <laughs> did the exact opposite and did the the meat first, which honestly I'm kind of glad about because it's kind of like you said uh, about the steak, like or not even about the steak, but it's like a chew factor. Yeah. Like the, by the time you get to the end, like you don't even want to be chewing. Like the more you have to chew, the more nauseous it makes you. Well, so like. I got through the meat, and I just I couldn't finish the noodles, but I was so happy that I could just, like, shove them in my face and swallow them. There was no, like, chewing involved. It was just like, all right, there goes that I'm one. I'm pretty like, sure y'all noticed when I, was eating, when I was eating, like, I was, like, taking a whole shitload of noodles and then started drinking some water. Everyone's like, why are you doing that? And, well, I, and everyone, like, no one, no one can know what the hell's going on in my fucking mouth. Like, but you drink some water, it just, like, just goes down like fucking ramen. Yeah. Like, it I, just, super smooth, like. I, I, that was just that was just too. Uh, I'm assuming you got, you got another two time ramen. Yeah, I got like like so. Ms. Do Bo, we each have one? Oh yeah, she Ms. said Bo, that Ms. you, Bo you Bo need to like, like get rid of the water. Like yeah, well she said almost. that she said that she would come and make it for us, and that we would have to do that challenge. I think that's gonna be our next challenge. Okay, well on that she subject, actually I already have the bag. She brought them to me. 
on that subject, do we have more than one? She brought it up for everyone. Awesome, because I feel like that's one of those it builds as you go things. Yeah. And so, like, the first couple of bites, we're all probably going to be like, nah, whatever. And, like, towards the end, it'll be like, okay, so all right. Can, uh, can, yep. can kind of like what yep. we did the uh, jalapeno. Yeah. Uh, so my brother, my brother. Uh, we'll get, that's another challenge. My right? brother last week, he had, uh, he sent me a picture on, uh, I think it might have been on Messenger. Or, I don't know, he's my brother. He probably definitely did it. That makes no sense. Anyway, <laughs> he was like, uh. He's like, this is the spiciest moment I've ever eaten in my life. And he had, like, the empty pack. Like, he sent me a picture of the bowl and then sent me a picture of the pack. And I'm like, what are you eating? Is it two times? And, like, he's like, yeah, this is, like, the black bag of ramen. And I was like, oh, yeah, dude, I got, like, six of those bags in my <laughs> right now. That, that's coming. That's coming. Like, I mean, we did it before, but remember, then we added all that stuff to it. Well, yeah, like, we made it. It wasn't even hot enough. But, as you said, like, we were told. That we got to remove the broth. Like, we had too much broth in there, essentially. And we're, we're going to find out. It was hot as hell when we, well, we, did, we made it hotter. But, like, it was hot as hell when we did it that time. Because Dooley brought over that damn salsa. Ghost chili, like, the ghost chili salsa. Ghost chili mango salsa, yeah. All right. By the way, on the it subject of delicious. challenges, I know that this is kind of a silly challenge that we did. But one of our most engaging posts over the past week was the uh, saltine challenge. Yeah. Which I thought was really funny. Is yeah, that what you had, that was uh, almost more of like a joke? I think it was funny here because the saltines were two years out of date. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, like that was one of our most engaging posts. It was almost like a joke, but it even sounds stupid. You're like, yeah, six saltines in a minute. Who can't do that? No, like I don't think you could do that if they weren't two years. Yeah, out of that, like, like that was just that like came from my sister, who works in a hospital, and the doctor gave this challenge to I guess like the nurses. And that's she was like, you guys got to do this. And like, like they actually brought a respiratory therapist into the room where they were doing this. I left that part out of our conversation. <laughs> well, so of that, there's it, a risk <laughs> of dying. <laughs> yeah, there's like so like let's bring because what I think he was giving everybody like whoever could do it would get the rest of the day off. So, I like, feel like if you could like drink water with it or something, of course then you could do it. Of but course, like because the first thing that shit did was take all the moisture out, yeah. out of your mouth. It's like, like, like the cinnamon like, challenge, which I, I'm. I'm not doing Dude, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm shitload, and you, you, I don't you like don't. cinnamon. You, it, you, you're, not sub, you're not supposed to fucking do a cinnamon challenge. Like, you, 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 there's, there's no reason you should ever eat that much cinnamon at one time. I'm just yeah. saying, Mythbusters beat us to that one. It's doable, but you have to, like, chipmunk cheek it in order to get it down. Yeah. Like, but and, I think, and even then, I feel like it can't be enjoyable. So, I, I, do we really do we really want to do that? Nothing about that sounds enjoyable. No. This is my segue. Are you? Oh, I'm gonna say the saltine thing. Like, do you think maybe like eating like maybe a fourth of each cracker, like just a little? You have a minute, dude. Like, I mean, true. Like, I'm, I'm trying to say saltines in my mouth, and I don't know. I'm trying to think of like. Well, we all we all kind of went different like strategies. Yeah. Jason just like shoved through in his mouth right off the bat. I was, I, I was I, trying I was to do thinking, more. Yeah, I did like one at a time, but mind, I was like, even before I finished the first one, I was putting the second one in. In like, my mind, I was like, I got 30 seconds to eat three crackers. Right, I'm just going to shove them in and we're going to go. Yeah. Eat the next three. Like, and like, I was thinking, like, if I get those three down, like, my mouth will begin to make salad. And, and we'll do it again. Yeah. Get, yeah, then, didn't worry about it. Hell no, dude. I, I didn't even finish the three crackers I ripped my mouth. Like, I never finished those crackers. Like, I did them out. all the shit, so we're all like, no. They take it like the cardboard box they were in. Yeah, cardboard box. <laughs> but worse. Like. Uh, so, all right. I know you just said you were about to segue, but uh, yeah, I, I got it. I got it. In, I got it in my pocket. You can, you can keep talking. I was, I was going to go. We've done more challenges than that. In particular, the one that I think we all have regretted, uh, <laughs> some of us more than others, was the uh, the Reaper challenge. Oh God. I I, yeah, I never I talked honestly, about the aftermath of the Reaper. No, you I, haven't. I, I honestly. You've talked did. about it with us. Like the the second time we did it, like you weren't there when we did the first one. No, I thank but God. Why video, would you do it twice? Like you, you guys that, are that doing video. This. Yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> that video is still. I, I still have that. Video. I found it. Was, yeah, I found it. All yeah, I, yeah. I put it. I put it on there. Like we did it in the garage. Like we were. It was after a golf tournament, so we were pretty lit. <laughs> and uh, you were at that golf tournament. I was at that golf. I was not yeah, here. You didn't, for you, the, didn't, you, didn't come, you didn't come to the uh, aftermath party. Um, somehow I feel pretty stoked about that at the moment. Like, because Chase, Chase had came over. And so Chase was, I think Chase was way more sober than me. Oh, yeah. And, like, we were just, I forgot what the hell we were talking about, but it just came to my mind. Like, 
Yeah, and then you went to go grab the Reapers, and I was like, oh, God, no, no, they no. They such a pretty box. <laughs> <laughs> they had, like, tissue paper and stuff. Like, the company that we got it from, um, I thought the card was on the fridge out here somewhere. Um, uh, that's a good reference point, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, um, where the hell did I put that card? Anyway, it might be in the office, actually. Um, really cool people, and when I bought them, they were out of season. They weren't astronomically priced. I think I paid a dollar a piece for the chili. Man, that's <laughs> but he's like, it, it even like sent me a little note, like, look, man, like they're a little high right now. He's like, but in the summertime they come way down. Like right. when he's like, this is what I got now. This is like, you know, you're out of season. Like it's the same thing with the crawfish. Like I'm not gonna like, okay, I'll spend a dollar of pepper. Right. We twenty need, bucks we need like twenty peppers. I was gonna say like, we need like ten. Yeah, it's ten bucks. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> that's not to me astronomical. Well, we're talking about. Pounds of crawfish. Yeah. Now we're, now we're getting a little up there. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not paying a dollar of crawfish. Do you, do, you, <laughs> do you want to talk about that aftermath, though? Because uh, I think you I mean, probably had it the worst uh, uh, out of all of us. Uh, and I don't know if it's because I ate two. With, I mean, we totally did the same thing. But yeah, I, I was, ate two, that was in, like two, days, two in a week. Uh, well, it was, what, three days apart? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you did it Saturday night and, and then Monday. Monday. Yeah. So it was two days apart. Okay. Did the second time? Like, I think the second time was worse. It was, to me, it was more enjoyable. The second time for me was way more When it be enjoyable, I mean, like, we, yeah, we already knew what was going to happen, but it was just, like, mental game, like, just, all right. Well, you I, and I were, like, I locked the, like, the every, entire every first challenge, minutes, it was Every just, like, challenge that we do, that, you and me are always, like, so pissed that that video came out so crappy. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we, all right, we tried doing live. <laughs> I don't know if live had anything to do with it. I don't know what went wrong. Well, it. like, what? 13 minutes in or something only cuts out and comes back three minutes later. That's definitely because of live. Uh, I'm an issue there, but yeah. so maybe, you know, maybe if we maybe ever we'll do, do something TV stupid and like that again. Right well, on, TV, TV, well TV. now we have multiple devices. Yeah, we have, way we, have more, yeah. we have way more equipment. The equipment, yeah, upgrade, upgrade on equipment. So we can always do more than one phone, camera, so on and so forth. Um, but okay, so, what, what about that new pepper that's all? That's uh, probably, probably, I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> If you're if you're gonna get into that, we can get into the synthetic pepper that they've come out with. It's like lab yeah, grade. That will kill you. Man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> let's like, let's not warning. <laughs> like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's like okay, so the aftermath of the reaper for me. Um, so okay, you know we all went through the same shit during the like that hour. I'd say it was a solid hour of pain. Oh, a solid hour of burn for yeah. sure. I think I, the worst of it for me is when I like sneezed and it came out my nose. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That was like it burned more in my nose than it did in my throat. Okay, so I think it was so we did that like what? It was like eight, nine o'clock at night. Yeah, it was late. It was late. And all we have is sour popsicles. Yeah. Like, we, did, we did not we did not play that at all. Alright, so um I think it was like four AM. Like I just woke up and I didn't know I thought I had to poop. Go back to episode nine. <laughs> so I was like I woke up and I was like, oh like like that sharp pain. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if any of you had food poisoning. I've been in this business long enough to have to have food poisoning several times. Um, it did kind of feel like the food poisoning, sharp pain in the stomach. Like, and I was like, uh, you know, went to try to poop. I'm like, all right, it's not a poop. So I went back to bed and I was like, yeah, I'll just sleep this out. <laughs> no. No, dude. Then like the sweat started, like, and I started sweating like for no reason. And um, I was. Uh, in immense pain in my abdomen. Like, it felt like I was stabbed. Like, it was just this sharp pain. Not the poo pain, like pain. Like, this sharp, sticking pain. And I was like, all right, like, I gotta poo. Like, I gotta get this out of me. Like, you know, thinking about- Just eat the mustard. <laughs> yeah, like, you, think, you think about food, and like, I gotta get this out. Like, yeah. I'm just gonna ride this out, like, on the ball. The like, power of Christ compels you. I'm bring my phone and a charger, and I'm gonna be in here for like two hours. It's like, when you, it's one of those, like, you wish you could pull the bathtub closer, so like, you could sit on the toilet and so Well, it was, I was in so, much, I was in so much pain. I was in so much pain, like, I'm sitting on the toilet, hunched over, and I felt like my throat started closing. And I was like, oh, man, I might be in some serious shit here. So, like, like the producer's in bed, and I'm like, hey, wake up! <laughs> like, she's like, what? And I was like, I need water. And she goes to the kitchen, and I, I don't know where you guys keep your bedroom here, but in my bedroom, there's a mini fridge. So I was like, there's water in the fridge. There's water in the fridge in the bedroom. So she chucks a bottle of water and goes back to sleep. So I drink, like, half this bottle of water. Gotta love that concern. <laughs> <laughs> you did this to you yourself. You did this shit to yourself. <laughs> like, you deal with it. So... You're an idiot. Yeah, I know. Like, 
by the way, for those of you that did watch that video, like we did say, someone made the comment, kids, try this at home. Don't fucking try this at home. <laughs> this is obviously repercussions can happen. There are honestly life threatening. Yeah, there, there are definitely some health issues that <laughs> fall along with that. But so, all right, so I realized that this poop isn't happening. Like, I didn't eat much that day. So I was like, I did drink a glass of milk before we started to, you know, try to cook the stomach just so this shit would not happen. But so I was like, the bathroom floor is nice and cool. The side <laughs> of the tub is nice and cool. Like, I'm sweating. This is when you end up naked in the fetal position on the floor. This is, that like, is exactly what happened to me. I, I, I actually naked. say, I don't know if you were naked, but I can see this happening. It's I like, was oh, God. naked, laying on the tile in the bathroom with my head up against the side of the tub. And like... On my knees. I wasn't, like, in the fetal position on my side. Like, I was on my knees, like, hunched over. Like, I'm about to take it. (laughs) (laughs) With my head on the side of the tub. And no shit, I passed out. (laughs) Well, okay, so you did get some sleep. You slept it off. (laughs) I woke up, like, an hour later, literally on my side in the fetal position. Like, with my back up against the toilet, on the tile. Like, with my head up against the side of the tub, trying to find anything cool. And the pain finally subsided. And I was like, all right, I'm good. Like, toweled off. And I know she hates me to this day. Like, I climbed right back in bed. Like, did, did you ever actually poop? No. Not until the next day. My whole thing is, like, the next day, I had to be at work at 5 o'clock in the morning. I set up brunch. And I was like, oh, man, I feel it. I feel it coming. Oh, yeah, no. See, the poop the next day was horrible. Oh, yeah. I didn't, I didn't have the, the I, stabbing yeah. pain or anything like Jason did. But yeah, like, the fire yeah. out of your ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Shit, Arthur, I don't know if you got yeah, the picture. Yeah, he sent me this <laughs> picture of him sitting on the toilet. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Like, he, like, he had a mean face and everything. Like, you can tell he was in the stall. He just like, Fuck you guys. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> okay. I know, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he would definitely do it again if we had it set up. If, like, if, if we're all dumb enough to do it again, he'll do it. Oh, yeah. um, I just love how Chase was like when he was doing yeah, the challenge. Like, he's like, like, his, his, like his, yeah, his knees kept going out. Like he kept like well, that falling and that, holding that, on. Right, the remember he did it on Saturday, and the same thing happened. Yeah, and yeah. in that video, like he was over here, like with his head out the door of the garage, <laughs> on his knees, like just hanging out at the threshold of the garage, doing whatever. Oh, yeah, the I'm corner. over here. I'm literally like, right there's, there. There's yeah, a good like I thought I was gonna throw up that time, and there's a solid like. Two minutes, which, like it's just came me and there was no one in the garage. Because, yeah, you well, you can me. see Chase on his knees. You just need my back right there. Julie's like over there against the wall. Like, I'm just salivating. Head, like, with his, yeah. He's like spitting out like his saliva into the yard. And I'm like, I might throw up. And like, I had to step <laughs> over Chase and like go outside. And like I was hunched over for a minute. I was like, because you got that like, oh, this is going to suck. That's, yeah. If I yeah. throw up, this it's is going to be horrible. Suck. Like, yeah. It's going to be. Just the worst bad. acid reflux ever. ever. Yeah. Oh. I didn't throw up, and I came back inside, and like I looked back at the camera, and there's snot, and like we're all snot. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this yeah. is a horrible idea. Yeah. Let's do it again on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds exactly like us. <laughs> this just, was really stupid. The only Let's thing, do it. Yeah. The only thing I could have th- could think of when I rewatch the video is it, it's kind of like a. Kind of like that family guy thing where they take that fucking thing and they oh, that, all start throwing like it up. Like the, and shit. what is it, Epicac or whatever they yeah. should throw off? Yeah. And it's fucking like whoever makes it the longest gets the brownie. I don't even remember yeah, what so they were. Some they were fighting for some sort of food. Make it stop, make it and stop. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's the only thing I think because I'm some chase over there. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> chase <laughs> over this one. We're all just like. What about you guys? We're not doing it. Like we're all like <laughs> war torn, just. Oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah. That video came out way clearer. <laughs> and um, we didn't even post that one. Well, I well mean, it was on the GoPro. Yeah, so. yeah, it was. I mean, video to come. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, like it wasn't the. We were pretty intoxicated, so the video is kind of raw. You know, yeah. you know like, like, it's kind, like, kind of raw. There's one shot guy. I just want you to know, this is not we had the setup. There's one camera recording three drunken idiots. <laughs> That's really what's going on. Like we had the camera sitting like right where you were. Right where you were. Oh, I, I know. I've seen the video. I, I remember yeah, seeing it. I'm letting everyone else know. It's one camera. Yeah, it's one camera, three drunk one idiots. shot, three drunk Raw idiots. footage. Like, <laughs> just, this is what happens. At like, fucking one o'clock on it, a Saturday it, morning. It, it, if we were to make a, a DVD, this would be on the bonus Blue, track. Like the yeah, bloopers reel. That, 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 that would be like on the bonus reel. Like, after, <laughs> like, like, would you like to watch bonus footage?
So, um, segue, since we went through all that, like, I want to bring it back to the cinnamon challenge. Like, foods that you don't like. Okay. It's not like, I mean, there's people out there who, like, despise onions. Um, for me, there's not a lot. Cinnamon is one of those things that I could live without. Are we talking about like don't like li- like live without hate? What what? No, I mean it's like, like just just like in general, like what foods do you steer away from? Brussels sprouts. Really? I mean, I've well, had them to where like right, you well, would, you would fuck up Brussels sprouts if they were done. Oh, uh, okay. I've I've done them many different ways. In, in the deep fried dishes. Yeah. 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 No, I'm. I'm I have the best ones I've ever had. Them, dude, they're straight fart bombs in your mouth. The like, best ones I've ever had were actually like balsamic Brussels sprouts. Not bad, but again, a food like that I could live without and like never miss. Like a balsamic glaze and some bacon, little fucking yeah. goat cheese. Like a, I didn't do them. Do, cheese, do you know that's yeah. the only thing Gordon Ramsay will never eat? What Brussels sprouts? Yeah. I, well, good on you, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I, I agree <laughs> with you. Uh, yeah. well, that, that's the one thing. Uh, Talk about food that I can live without. Do I absolutely despise them? No. Of course, I will always try them again because yeah, like, if someone makes them a new way, like cool, I will. I I'll try. we fucking try everything. Like, yeah. it could, I'm one of those kids in the lunchroom that's like, oh, you want me to drink orange juice and milk? I'll do it once. See what the fuck happens. Like horrible idea, by the way. Yeah, uh, that's disgusting. <laughs> we've all done that. Yeah, one. like, but but I'm that guy. I'm that guy. Like you know. Try this shit. Like, he just said I'm not gay. Yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna say kid and a guy. And I gay and anyway, I'm, I'm not gay. Yeah. Hey, but uh, I mean, you know, somebody says here try this food. Like, I'm not gonna say no, and especially like foods that I want to try that I wouldn't probably eat if I knew what it was. So like, if anyone ever serves me haggis, don't fucking tell me beforehand. Oh, I'll, I'll tell totally you. Oh, oh, Traditional oh, haggis, oh, from what I hear, even the people that make it don't think it's that. No, no, it's right. not. Uh, like it's just boiled. <laughs> I mean, like, it's not oh, seasoned or flavored or anything. Like, it's like, fucking... You remember, like when we did like the function at work, Julie, uh, where we uh, they have to braid the meat. Yeah. So like in in the Scottish setting, like banquet setting, like they parade the haggis around. For what reason? I don't know. Because no one in that room likes it. Like, wants to eat it. No. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. By the way, we did not serve haggis, so that's not what we're talking about. But <laughs> The point is, like, there's certain things that I just wouldn't want to fucking know that's about. That's the only time I tried it. Why would it? There was a banquet. And <laughs> I was actually at a beef carving station when <clears> they paraded this around. And then, like, the Scottish dudes all in their kilts, they were super cool. And they're like, you got to try this. And, like, me being a young chef at the time, I was like... Oh, yeah, I'll try that. Why do you guys <laughs> eat this crap? And like, they're like, what is we don't. wrong with no. you? <laughs> it's just tradition. We have to do it. Like, come up with a new tradition, man. Right? Like, something that's good. Like, <laughs> I honestly can't think of a food that I don't like. Or, I mean, texture-wise, avocado. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why I don't like it. I got another one. Te- texture-wise, avocado. Like, just that. Yeah. yeah, just I hate the texture of it. Like, maybe, maybe food? Well, I mean, it's already matched up to show that. But so so it's like the firm avocado that you don't like, like the just like, like the fresh like, like, avocado, you know, you like, like just on a sandwich, like just, slices like, of sandwich. No, just plain avocado. Like, Who I can't the hell just eat that. Just eat an avocado. Bitches in fucking California. <laughs> and oh, wow. and thank you so much for making my hand notes. Avocado so expensive with your hand toast. <laughs> anyway, uh, gluten free toast with. <laughs> now the reason why I don't like cinnamon, and I truly believe, like as a young adult. Um, I had a bad go with Goldschlager. Um, <laughs> I can't stand licorice. We can get it to Jaeger <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah, so I mean, like, like I can drink Jaeger. I can't chew up like a black licorice stick. Like, I guess all licorice is black. But anyway, you get the point. Technically, yeah. Um, but yeah, like I, I had a bad go with uh, Goldschlager, and ever since that day, like a uh, honey bun and all that brings you right back to that moment. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can eat a honey bun. I don't technically. I think they're too sweet in the first place. Um, I steer away from sweet crap usually. Um, but the cinnamon, that's where that's where the cinnamon stems from. Goldschlager. I, I, I kind of just only like, once you said something about honey bun, so I was like, what about a honey bun challenge? <laughs> I mean, I can eat a honey bun. <clears throat> yeah. I just prefer not to. Like, if there, if I had a, all right, if I had a choice between a honey bun and a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, I'm going with the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. I'm kind of 50 50. I say that's mood dependent. Like, yeah. That's mood dependent for 100% me. 100% of the time, I'm going with the biscuit. I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> I believe you. Are you high with a sweet tooth? Licorice, <laughs> though. That's definitely one that I could live without. Yeah, and, me too. Like, talking about alcohol, Jaeger. Uh, 
back. Did way you back. have a bad go? Oh, way back in the day. Uh, I, I used to. Young adult. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, my best friend's mom kept it in like the sub freezer. Oh, wow. And yeah. so, like, you know, like, it, it's no longer like liquid at that point. It's like a syrup. Thick. Yeah, thick syrup. And of course, we would, you know, try and take shocks. And like, you could tip the shot glass upside down and just oh, like. Damn. Wait. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, you have to wait for it to hit your mouth, and it takes, like, three seconds before you can even, like, attempt to swallow this thick, syrupy horribleness. And, yeah, back when I was a, a young adult, uh, you know, getting getting drunk was just, you know, it was worth it. It was anything, but, anything but, around that has alcohol on it, you're like, But, oh. yeah, like, I can drink, like, a redheaded slut now, but if I try and take, like, a shot of Jaeger, like, oh, fuck no. Oh, fuck no. See, I can still do a shot Gold slugger. I can still do it. Like I, could, you know, what, think like, about because that'd be like fireball. Yeah, but I'm like for, if for someone the kids was, like, nowadays, if someone bought me a shot of Jaeger, I would like, probably it's, take it's, it. It's like having a bad experience with fireball. I just, it's certainly not something I would go out of my way to fucking take. But texturally, duly, coconut. Like, yeah, coconut yeah. shavings. I cannot yeah. stand it. I, I don't. I love I the could, flavor I could of coconut. Eat a handful. I love the flavor of coconut. I cannot stand the texture of coconut. Chicken. Like, I don't know why. Said, what about like in like a, like a German shop? Or something? No, can't stand it. Which, by like, the way, it's not German. By, like, I went to so a restaurant the, the other day, the and I had a. Uh, it was supposed to be a toasted coconut white right. chocolate cake, uh, white chocolate cheesecake, and like, was it good? Yeah, but like the texture of the coconut was in there, and I do not think that they even fucking toasted it. Uh, you know, shout it out was to not brown. that. Shout out to that establishment, but no, it was not brown. It wasn't even like. Tinted brown. It was definitely still fucking white, <clears throat> and I was highly upset about it because I feel like if it had been toasted, it would have been a little bit more crunchy, and I probably would have been okay with it. But it was not at all fucking toasted, and fuck that. See, I like I was coconut. disappointed. I like coconut, but you know what I don't like? Coconut shrimp. Yeah, we, like uh, I was just about to say. Like, yeah, I can just, deal with it when it's fried. <clears throat> if I wanted to eat a damn Samoa, I would eat a damn Samoa. <laughs> but we just had uh, we just had a, <laughs> a bank with like, like, Samoa. Like we just had a bagel with coconut shrimp, and I tried one before we sent it out, and I was like, I didn't even try one. I and did. I hate the big fuck up fryers. Yeah, and I was just <laughs> like, I the shrimp was good, the batter was good, but then like you still have like the coconut yeah, just just, chilling around in your mouth. Like, can't, can't get over that. Can't get over that. That doesn't bother me, but I just I, I just don't like coconut shrimp. Um, I just I just don't like. I'm sorry. Like I like shrimp. I like coconut. I don't like like coconut. Yeah, I just. I, it happens. I mean, it's not something, it's not, again, it's not like, oh, I can't eat a coconut shrimp. I just if prefer was, not to, yeah. If, if there there's was not shrimp a shrimp cocktail and a coconut shrimp sitting side by side, I'm going with the shrimp cocktail. There's not a lot that I can't. Oh, yeah. It just, I mean, we've, there, proven, there are things, we've proven that time and time again. There are things that I would prefer not to. Uh, so, so, staying on, like, a food topic, um, we're, we're all in the restaurant industry, so... But let's go with, uh, what are some of, like, instead of eating or tasting, what are the worst smells that raw get chicken. you? Raw chicken. I'm right fucking there with you. Raw, raw like, chicken? Raw, no, not raw chicken. Worst. Not raw chicken. Right, well, like, rancid. Old raw right, chicken. Rancid, rancid chicken. Raw chicken is... Like, you go to open a box that someone did not rotate properly, and, like, as soon as you open the bag on the box, you just... We did inventory yesterday, and uh, the executive chef... He went, all right, we got a we got a case of chicken wings in here. I was like, when did these? Yeah, when did we get chicken wings? Like, wow. Yeah, I was like, what? What? And he was like, I was like, what's the date on that? And he like lifts the box. Oh no! Like he just jiggled it. Right. And he looked at me like he's like on his knees because it's on the bottom shelf. Right. You know, proper proper shelves. <laughs> right. Right. So he's on his knees in the walk and he just shakes the box like to open it up. And he just turns, and the face he gave me, <laughs> and like it do, I don't need to see the date. So, it's great. So it's I'm not good. There, I'm sitting there with a the clipboard, and I just start backing up. Yeah, like because like, that, that is one thing. That is one thing that will make me dry. Oh, me. oh yeah. Like, oh I, yeah. Well, the other <laughs> the oysters, like oh rancid, yeah, rancid, shit. rancid yeah. oysters. Yeah. See, I, I think in my in my opinion, like for some reason, chicken gets me. The worst, like rotten beef, oysters rotten seafood. Is a close o- oysters is a close second. Like seafood's up there, but like chicken is the absolute worst. Like well, my favorite is like when people smell bad chicken and they're like, 
Well, this is to make sure it's bad. Yeah, like, like, no, bitch, it's bad. You don't but, need a second look, opinion. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah I saw your face when you yeah, said it. If you have a question about it, <laughs> it's bad. throw it away. Yeah. Like, just that's, throw it away. Let's get some new stuff. See, that's like that sentiment where, like, it's four dudes in a car and somebody farts and rolls the windows up. Like, yo, you gotta smell this shit. Like, no, I fucking don't. Like, a lot. But, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, just watch it for a second. Like, I will kill you. I will. You may be driving. I will strangle you from behind. Like, we're all dying today. <laughs> <laughs> I should remind you that, uh, <clears throat> just so I know, fucking, that uh, John Panette, uh, segment, like, he was, like, <laughs> he ate some, uh, broccoli or something like that. He rolled them all, or his friend had all the windows rolled up, he farted, and he was, like, I'm literally losing friends. <laughs> and when they say that, uh, we were on the side of the road, car flipped over, <laughs> everyone hanging out of the windows, and everyone's, like, what happened? What happened here? It was a bomb. <laughs> fucking John <laughs> farted. <laughs> Oh, I still think yeah, alcohol but, farts are the worst. I don't know, man. Like, I'm always scared to fart after a hard day of drinking because I'm afraid. JMO of farts, man. Hey, JMO farts. Are I, the I, I call them dads. Dads? Oh, I know that. That's day after drinking shits, but. That nice, nice. Uh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> but I don't like, get the dads very often. I'm more concerned about the shark. Like. <laughs> I do dance uh, drinking like I they, don't know how to feel about it. They, they dance drinking farts are like endless for me. Like if it's just beer, like it's just like ever just walking around or just good to know. <laughs> All of them here that work with Dooley on Tuesday. You are warned. <laughs> <laughs> it's awkward. All right, so like, let's go from something bad to something. Uh, I don't know. The, most, the most pleasant smelling thing you have. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I was gonna say from something bad. Let's 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 go to something that we I assume hopefully enjoy. Let, let, plating. All right. Like, let's talk about plating food. Yeah, let's talk about plating food. Like I I enjoy a a well presented plate, and one thing I want to talk about <laughs> is not necessarily enjoyable to me. I've been in this industry for 13 years. I'm tired of fucking parsley, and oh, not yeah. just like yeah. sprigs of like chopped parsley. Dried has gone on break. fucking everything in almost every restaurant I've worked at. I, I'm, I'm done with dried parsley. Dude, when, when I was when I was I, in culinary school, like if you use parsley in all the cart class, like they downgraded your. Okay, shit. now here's the thing: parsley on a sprig, I still can like I feel like that could still be presentable. Is, yeah, is I'm it, tired of it, when in doubt parsley out. Fuck that yeah, saying. No, fuck wasn't that. Wasn't it originally put on the plate because it's supposed to help with digestive or something like that, like uh, I, or maybe your breath? Like when they did the sprig on the plate, like I don't yeah, know. I feel like that's more like cilantro. Well, no, but I mean, like I'm a fan. Like if you need a chopped green to go on your plate, like at least use something that's going to accent the dish. Like let's chop up some fresh tarragon, let's chop up some fresh cilantro, let's, some let's, rosemary. Let's you know, like I, I harp on this at work a lot. Um, we have a guy who's winning out parsley out. Um, but I'm like, yo, you need to cut like. I know there's 300 fucking plates, but I need 300 lemon wheels, and I need 300, like, we got some sushi grade, uh, uh, sorry, sushi grade, uh, ginger in there, like, it's a delicious Asian dish, like, let's throw a little ginger, ginger, right. like, some pink ginger on there with a, with a nice lemon wheel, like, very basic, very clean, like, that's all it needs, like, it also accents the damn dish, dip. right, like, it, it gives like, you that fucking squeeze acid, it though. on your fish, it's awesome, like, <laughs> I'm just tired of seeing dry parts on it, like, no, you know no, what, I, I am a fan of cayenne, how in do you general, feel about, how do you feel about the sauce swoosh, oh, well, okay, I, I feel like that could kind of go either way, and it depends on the plate, like, what are you plating, now, the sauce swoosh, I feel like, if you do it, with dessert. okay, or, or, I'm or, with you or, on that, but I also feel like a lot of, like, all right, almost every restaurant, does everything on top, or if you add something, like if you add bacon to a sandwich, they don't put it under the cheese, they put it on top of the cheese, because they want you to see it. Like, that way people aren't like, oh, well, I didn't get bacon on my sandwich. Like, no, it's under the cheese. It's right there. I can see the, like, I can see the curves under the Look cheese. Look at the way your it. cheese melted so across that deliciously curved <laughs> bacon. I feel like I a lot of places curve, do girl. sauces on top so that you can see it. But personally, like, I think as far as, like, plating goes, a lot of times it looks better from a perspective of sauce underneath. And yes, the, the swoosh can work. Like I mean, if you're inflating, it starts with basic. First of all, let's start from the bottom, the plate. Yes. Warm your damn plate up. Well, okay, it's hot food, yeah, warm your plate up. Totally yeah, warm down with your that. Plate up. Warm your plate up. If it's cold dish, cool your plate off. Hot right. food, hot plate. Cold food, cold plate. Right. Like, okay. and that, it, it, Simple things, guys. Simple that things. goes a lot further 
than anything else, I believe. And then I'm a fan of putting the hot sauce on the hot plate and then putting your hot protein on, on the top hot of, right. sauce. So we're building heat here, like, because heat rises. So everything's going up. You don't have to raise your hand. Just interrupt him. No, I'm sorry. Well, he's five. got five minutes. Oh. Because I, I noticed the timer on the phone. Was oh, like, I was like, what, what is this, so kindergarten? Like, oh, you got to go to the bathroom yeah, or something? Yeah, like, like, just, just uh, interrupt yes, him. Yes, like, yes, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, But, like, I like very clean plates. I don't like a lot of crap going on. Um, I like my food to come up with my food. I'm, I mean, I'm with you. But I do like, you know, I like balance on a plate. And I feel like... Restaurants in general. My, I don't I, think my plate needs to be fucking a foot high. With no, I'm totally with you on that. And I, I definitely hate rushed plates. I no, I'm, I'm also like, with you on that. I, I just feel like a lot Arthur of Arthur had the best, had the best saying ever. Like, take six seconds and look at that plate. Like, six seconds is a long time to stare at something. Like, if you think about it. But it's not a lot of time. Like, it's not it's not an absorbent amount of time, but you can take a look at it for six seconds and make sure it looks right and everything's on the damn plate before you send it out. Right. It takes I, six seconds, stop for a minute, look at it. I know the restaurants can't afford, or a lot of restaurants, especially in this area, can't afford fancy plates. Like, we're not getting the swoop bowls and the colored plates. And, you know, hey, they're... Those are expensive. They ones, are right? expensive. Hey, I, you break one? Oh, it's like $20 a plate. Like, yeah, I'm totally aware. Like, Totally well. out of your paycheck. I gotta sell five sandwiches to replace this plate and get back into business. Dude. But it's a walk. That's why, I like, all right. So we're working with a white plate. I feel like just a white plate. A lot of the times, especially if you're working with fish, a white fish on a white plate, like it doesn't have any pop to it. Like you need some kind of color somewhere, and that's why I do think like do you, a sauce comes in. It, or oh, yeah. as I said, like I'm I'm a cayenne fan. I would rather put cayenne around the rim of the plate. Than parsley, like a I red pop. To put anything on the plate. Well, I, you know, it just depends on what it is. Like if it's a, a bowl or something. Like you're doing like a dusting. Like yeah, you know, like, not like I'm not talking about like let's make the entire rim red. This isn't fucking Christmas here. But like, <laughs> what if it was Christmas? Well, you know what? Then no, fine. Let's candy right. strike the edge of that plate. I don't care. But I just I think a sprinkling of red looks better than a dead fucking dried out green parsley. I I. And I, so I say fan. cayenne instead of paprika because I like eating. squirt bottles. I'm with you. Like uh, for sauces. The hair we're, we're, we'll, we'll bring this back up in the next podcast because we got to get our we got two minutes, 30 seconds. We got to get our egg strategy on. I got, we, Billy and I got to get in the mind frame of eating pizza. Um, it must be calm. It must be calm over the <laughs> All right. So once again, uh, we always appreciate you guys for listening. Um, watch back get on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, um, we the Twitter the, out there. The Insta Face Tube. The Insta Face Tube Twitter. Um, and again, like for all our non sponsors, we appreciate you guys for not sponsoring us. <laughs> <laughs> but if you do want to sponsor Team Fat Kid, you can find us at uh, www.teamfatkidnation.com is our website, and our email address is teamfatkid at teamfatkidnation.com. We are simple people. They're very simple. We try, to, we try to keep it localized. Uh, but we got some big things coming up later on today. Uh, we've still got to finish this board that we started last week. We oh, yeah, for a couple of times. Oh, it's, 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 it's been rolling for a while now. <laughs> Not all week, but. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a really long time. All right, guys. Thank you over Thank again. <laughs> this is Team Fat Kid. We'll be back with you guys a little bit later on today. Team Fat, get out. Thursday.